We've also got literally hundreds of different indicators, tools, and studies already built into the software for you. And where you're going to find the majority of them is right up here. This is called the indicator quick list. And to open this up, you just click on this down arrow, and you'll find that they're alphabetically sorted for you. What you can do is basically just find a particular indicator that you're interested in. So let's say, for example, I want to plot some moving averages on this chart. I'll find moving average, hold down my left mouse button, and I drag it on top of the chart. When I let go, a dialog box will pop up, and it'll ask me, well, how many time periods do I want to use? And I'll type in, for example, 50. I can choose the type of moving average that I'm interested in. And as you can see, there's a number of different styles. I can also choose the colors. We'll make it red. We'll make it make the line a little bit thicker. And if you want to change the style of the line and so forth, obviously you can. The thing is, is that you have complete control over everything that you do inside the program. And I'll just click OK. And by doing that, I now have a, a 50 period exponential moving average directly placed on my chart. Another nice thing inside the program is that you can do as many different indicators and set up your charts exactly how you want. And you can do as many on top of each as well. So for example, let me grab another moving average and I'll drag it onto my chart. And you'll see that the price bars have actually changed colors. That means that if I drop this moving average at this point, the moving average would be based on the prices here. But actually what I could do is I could actually drag it up and drop it right on top of this line here. And what I could do is a moving average of a moving average as well. So again, as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do another moving average of the prices here. Let's go ahead and change the color so it's a little bit easier to see. I'll make this one blue and again make the line a little bit heavier. But this time let's go ahead and change this one to maybe a little bit shorter period time. And I'll change it to 21. And click OK. So that fast we now have two moving averages on this chart. This blue one as you can see is a 21 period exponential moving average. And the red one is a 50 period exponential moving average. So this is a way a lot of people just get started with our software is just grabbing a few indicators on here and plotting them on their chart and see what they look like. And then what you can do is you can actually scroll back and forth in time by literally grabbing this bar and dragging it from one point to the next. Or you can actually scroll slower if you like and by doing that what you can do is by holding down your shift key and then clicking on your arrow you can actually move one bar at a time and almost simulate real-time trading here. So basically what I would be doing is I, uh, a common way to actually look at these particular indicators is that if one line crosses the other, that helps indicate that there might be a possible turning point right here. So for example, if this short-term moving average is crossing up above this longer period moving average, it's basically saying that the trend might be changing from a downward move to an upward move. And you can test different ideas like this by literally holding down that shift key, clicking on this arrow and just moving one bar at a time and just kind of play, hypothetically play with this thing and see how you might react in these different types of situations. If you want to change to a different, different chart, of course you can always go up here to the open dialog or you can always just type in your symbol too directly on the chart. So again, we'll start with the country code, start with the US, separate with a semicolon, and then just the name of the symbol that you're actually interested in, and that will bring up the next chart here for you. So now we've got another chart here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll back all the way over here to the end. All right, and you, this is the reason why I chose this chart is because you can see is I, this chart has actually been kind of all over the place here. You know, it started here around 21, moved up around 25, down around 16, up around 26, now it's at 23. This chart, as you can see, the price on this chart has been all over. Let's grab another indicator on here. <coughs> I'm going to scroll up and find one, a real popular one called an MACD or what we call a MACD. And I'm going to drag this one 
And if I let go right here on top of this chart, this indicator is going to be plotted directly on top of the price chart. So let me do that and show you what that looks like. I'll just click OK. And this little box is asking us, well, how do we actually want to plot this indicator? I'm actually going to choose this last one where it says just overlay it without a scale. We'll click OK and you'll see that the indicator gets plotted right on top of the price bars. Well, if you don't like that look and you actually want to put this indicator in its own separate window, you can actually just grab this particular indicator and you can drag it up to the top here and you'll see that my pointer, a little box has popped up indicating that it'll be plotted in its own inner window. And by, If I let go, obviously it does get plotted. Now these windows can be resized Okay, you can just grab them and move them around, or you can grab the entire window and drag it from one spot to the next. And again, set up your charts and make them look however you want. And you can also take this one step further is after you've set this up and you like the way that it looks, you've got your favorite indicators and so forth on here, you can also save the view so every time you bring up a new chart you haven't looked at before, it'll come up exactly with those saved indicators, the colors, the styles, and everything for you. So, And that's really helpful as you start flipping or want to look at a number of different charts here. This particular indicator that we've got on here is called an MACD or again a MACD. And typically how you actually interpret this kind of indicator is it's actually you basically are looking for turning points here. You're looking for when, for example, this solid line is crossing up above this dotted line, indicating a possible turning point from either a low point to, to moving up, or vice versa when it crosses down, a possible selling time to when it crosses down below, and again vice versa when it crosses back up, that's a buy, crosses back down, that's a sell. So how do you know that? How do you figure this kind of thing out? Well, this program can just be an incredible learning tool for you. Again, no matter what level of trader you are, there's always something to learn out there. And the way that you learn inside this program, again, is using that right-click feature that I was telling you a little bit about earlier. So let's say, for example, I want help on this particular indicator. What I'll do is I'll place my pointer directly on that line, and I'm going to right-click on it, and you'll see that my little dialog box has popped up. Well, at the bottom here, I've got help. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and bring up the help inside the program. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this window over here a little bit so we can see it. And maybe I'll expand it here by clicking on this Maximize button so we can see it here a little bit better. So as you can see, first of all, it'll give you an explanation of exactly what the indicator is. And then in addition to that, it's going to give you other information if you want more detailed information or possibly, you know, how to combine it with other indicators and, and so forth. But as you can see, there is just a lot of information available. So let me go ahead and click on interpretation here. And this will go into more detail about that particular indicator and how I would actually use this to possibly uh, learn when to possibly buy or learn when to possibly sell based on that particular indicator and how it's actually created as well. Again, the information that's included in the program, this can just be a great learning tool to say the least. And in addition to that, I should also bring up that with our program you also get technical support. If you ever get stuck on something, we've got a lot of information out there to help you with.